Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I wanted to bring up is that last time we did this, I was really confused about a certain thing. So I'm trying to go to this area, and on this little sign over here, we're told that he's at um, the strawberry farm. And uh, it's just mm -hmm. said in this little sign, and you can't ignore it because it's background not words, you know. And then, um, sorry, uh, over here, it says, no uh, ichigo o akirameta hamtaro. And I was really confused about where did the strawberry field come in this? There's no strawberries anywhere. Why, why is he bored of strawberries? the strawberry field. I was really confused, but that's what this location is. This is the strawberry field. Mm. Or what wild strawberry area, I don't know, something like that. So uh, no, so no, no Ichigo means wild strawberry. It doesn't mean strawberry field. But since they have a sign, aha, uh -huh, I told you, right when you start, they come. <laughs> awesome. That's just how you know things work. Hi, Celine. Hi, sorry, I'm late. Nope, you're perfect. Uh, I was just, oops, well, yeah. I was just saying that uh, last time, if you vaguely remember, I was really confused about why they started talking about wild strawberries suddenly, and, and Hemphar was bored of them because there's no strawberries anywhere on this page, nowhere. But in the last page, in the background over here, we're told that these are um, prize worthy wild strawberries or whatever on this little sign, which is near uh, this whatever little park he's playing at. So he got bored with the park area. And so he left, which makes sense. But like, it's crazy because like, I paid zero attention to this sign. So I was really confused. Uh, so I believe this is where we're starting. So Steven, want to go to us? Uh... Throw away the memories. Hi, Ina. That sounds like something Hemtar would do. Get drunk and throw away his memories. Celine. Uh, Hamtaro is not たちは夜れるよれるこんてなの中でこっこちこっちよくこっちよくねむりについたついてた I'm sorry. 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 i into a group of people. Hi. Uh, I feel like it's it's related to tomodachi. Uh, the tachi has the same kanji, but it's how in Japanese they say they. They don't just say they. They say one of the characters' name and then they add tachi to it. it it's kind of interesting. So like we'd say like like in Pokemon, you'd be like, oh yeah, it's Ash and the gang. So Hamtaro tachi is like Hamtaro and the gang, even if the gang is only the Hamtaro. Like a taro and friends, so taro and the group, just how so that goes. Uh, you did it. Balls? No, you did is like uh, swing. Hi, like swing or vibrating or wiggling about. So it looks like he might be inside a boat. So the boat's probably rocking back and forth. You know, since there's a boat in this picture and a boat in this picture. Uh, so that's probably what's causing the container to be the yuredu container. So what what is uh, that saying? In Hamtaro and his friend swinging in the container. Close. So the container itself is the one doing the yuredu. 
So the container is basically kind of rocking back and forth like a hammock, as a good example. You know, ooh, Kiva's coming. That's a new person. Uh, so yeah, the container is rocking back and forth. And Hamtaro and Ladybug are nemuri ni tsuite. Well, nemuri ni, let's do that. Sleep. Hi, hi, hi. And when you're sleeping, the it's like the kimochi is yoku. So kokoti yoku has um, basically the same meaning of kimochi wa yoku. Feels good, right? Hi, 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 hi. Ina. Perfect. So it felt so good uh, being inside the container that's wiggling all about. They were like, this, this is, we're sleeping. It rocked them straight to sleep. Um, but suite uh, is like the verb that's modifying the sleeping, saying they fell asleep. I just made you focus on this because that's the part. Uh, I thought you know. And Cuba, Ohio. Uh, if possible, could you do uh, this section? Ohio, Ohio. 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 A little harder. Minato wo detemo o onaji da ta. Hi. Uh, I don't know the meaning. Hi, hi. hi. So it's kind of like, um, I guess it's, it's what? It's like, it is something. Hmm, hi, hi. In this case, I would say it's probably referring to the container that's shaking. Uh, like, uh, so, onaji datta is like the same. So, the thing that is the same is the minamoto detemo onaji datta. So, even leaving the port, the minamoto, the minato, uh, that was the same. So I'm assuming they're talking about the yuredu because the boat's not falling asleep, even though uh, that would be my first guess from the grammar. But the container is um, rocking back and forth. So tabun, the fune, is also rocking back and forth. So they don't, they totally don't notice um, the change of location and they continue their nice little nap. These are just some cute little sound effects. Looks like Hamtaro wakes up from his nap and goes on exploring. Uh, Steven, wait. Yeah, Steven, onegaishimasu. Hamtaro wa yōyaku jibun ga doko ni iru no ka ki ga tsuita. Hamtaro finally realizes uh, where he is now. Hi, hi, hi. Ina. Uh, Celine, you, get, you got the last two long ones. <laughs> Come on. Doko made mo tu tuzu? Aye. Tuzu ku da da. Bi bi ro bi ro. Biroi? It doesn't sound like a B over there, but it's he. Unless that has like a special. Biroi. Umi. To. Fuki. Fuki tsu te. Eh, fuki tsu ke ru shio ka ze wa. Haru, Haru, Ka, Nana, 
はなかかなたのいいこくにまでつれていってくれるきがして。Break this up into smaller parts. ここまでも、or ここまで。And who? No? Uh, I, was, I, was, I thought this is Coco, but it actually says Doko Made, which、uh, you know what Doko means, right? There? Hi, there. Hi, hi. And Made is、um, like until. So Doko Made mo Tuzuku is continuing until.、Uh, do you know what、uh, Hiroi means? White? It does mean white.、Right. And umi would obviously be hiroi desu ne.、Uh, but、um, tada is, normally means only, but datta doesn't、um, actually have that meaning. So when it's dada、uh, biroi, because I don't know why there's just two here. Uh, it's probably some random Japanese thing, but it doesn't help the vocab word because they're giving us the be here thing. This is a compound word. That's why the hiroi is being pronounced with a B sound, but it's just modifying the hiroi saying it's super wide. So not only is the ocean wide, it's super wide, basically.、Uh, Fuki、uh, tukeru is something that the kaze just does normally.、Um, it's a.、Uh, uh, Blowing、um, is against something basically. Do you know what the shiokaze means? You might remember it from the last book we read, Celine.、Uh, the breeze? The sea, sea breeze? You know, the, yeah, the sea breeze. Hi, hi. It has a shio kind of nioi. Do you know what、um, haruka means?、Uh, no, no, no. Makes sense. Uh, it means far away. And I think Hanata means like the, like the opposite shore, but I'll double check that. It's the horizon. And Ikoku ni made turete ite kureru kiga shita. So、um, it's like、um, feeling that.、Um, uh, uh, Like, so the, the boat they're on, well, well the, the, so the wind is, ha, is、um, going to bring them along, like bringing the boat along, kind of,、uh, up to the, the, kan, the Kanata no Ikoku. So, Kanata does mean the opposite side. So, that is like the horizon. But,、um, so the far off horizon. Uh, what do you think ikoku means from that like, context? For, foreign country? Yeah. Yes, it does mean foreign country. Because koku is at, and e is like weird. I mean, koku is like country, and e is like hin. Weird. So basically,、um, the wind and the, because that's to, and the、um, wide sea continues on, and the wind. Looks like、uh, it's bringing like, the boat you know, to the other side of the shore. Because it's like a sailboat, even though it's not a sailboat. Yeah, that was kind of complicated. I'm tired of just beating our butts.、Uh, Steven, on a guy, she must. I'll make you do a long one. Yeah, it's funny. It's more than a n o 永遠のお別れに感じられたりするわけで。Um, after all,、mm. this truly feels like a separation from Momo chan forever. Hi, hi.、Uh, feels like. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like it's a separation for forever. Hi, hi. Nina. Kiba, on a guy, she must. 
Ho, ho, mo, kuo wa, tito, manda ekon de, shima, shima no datta. Uh, fushigi? What does that mean? Fushigi na hen desu ne. Uh, he's describing the gu, gu, u, oto. Fushigi na kono oto wa nando, nanda, o. Mandoro. Do you know what Fushigina means? Fushigi. Sorry, I don't know. Hi, hi, hi. So Fushigina is like mysterious. He doesn't know it. Nandaro. Nandaro this ne. So no otowa nandaro nanode. Because that sound. Sorry, <laughs> oto is sound. So, kono oto is that sound, is what is it? And he doesn't know what it is. So, it's a mysterious sound. And the sound he's describing is this gu, gu noise. Celine, kono bun, onegaishimasu. Hantaro wa jito. Kangai konde shima shima o no data. So you can ignore the konde in this. You can, you can guess just from the kangai. It's just modifying that. I'm not very sure about this. So, Hamtaro hears a fushigi na oto. And he goes, Nandaro, Nandaro ne. And that is kangai konde. So, it's going, Nandaro. So, what does that mean? Nandaro. Thinking? Hi, it's thinking. It's pondering about something. What could that be? And the jito is modifying that, being kind of like, that's kind of like all what he's doing. He's being like concentrating very hard on pondering on what that mysterious sound could be. Uh, that's what the shimao is basically saying. That's like, he's completely. Uh, Doing this action. No da. Hi. Ito. Ha. Kawaii. Ah, keba. Ah, onegai shimas. Kore. Ah. Onaga ga. Ah. Ai. Is that correct? I so this right here one hundred percent makes sense why you think that's a um a ah or an o, oh, but it's actually an incredibly ugly sue, like a super duper so, ugly sue, and it's very it's it's so ugly, so it says sweet did it. Onaka ga suite. Harheta ne onaka suite. Tabemono o tabetai. Mutai. Mutai. Dechi. Hai hai hai. Eh, you can ignore the mitai dechu. Okay. Onaka ga suite. What does this mean? Onaka means 
、うん、スタマス。はいはいはい。うん、スタマス、スタマス、スタマス。So、you're hearing a goo, goo, oto. When your、uh, onaka makes a goo, goo noise, what does that mean? It means,、uh, I think it's hungry. Hi, hi, hi. So, onaka suiteru means that you're hungry.、Uh, suiteru、yeah. means empty.、Uh, do you know what mitai means in this case? The dechu is nonsense.、Uh, But me, I, I want to see. Hi.、Right? It, it,、um, theoretically, it could mean wants to see, but、uh, in this case, it's a、uh, mitai has a special meaning of it seems like. So rather than he wanting to see his stomach being hungry, he's basically going, huh, I guess it looks like it's hungry.、Hmm. Interesting.、Okay. Same English. Ina.、Uh, Celine. お願いしますまだまだで風呂敷の中のごご飯を食べよ。So, uh, 風呂敷 kind of confuses me. It says it's like, um, like a cloth wrapper. So, I, I have no idea. Uh, What he's talking about, Furoshiki. Ma, just keep it as Furoshiki. So, what does Modote mean? Modote. Get back? Hi, hi, hi. And this is the basho he's going to. Go on, or Tabeo. To eat the rice. Hi, hi, hi. So let's go back into the inside of the fudo shiki and eat rice. Nom, 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 nom. Onoka sweet da hamparo desu ne. Fune mitai. I'm going to do kiba again and Stephen will go next. Boku maigo ni. So, to become maigo, that means, Watashi wa doko? Doko? Doko watashi? Do you? Maigo, maigo, maigo. Boku maigo ni. Sorry, I don't know. Boku means. Uh, I am、uh, my go every my go means I go. What does you do? Do you my go? Ni natta. My go ni. So, my goal means lost. So, Hantar goes, Where am I? I, I became lost. Do you? Natchatta. So, Natchatta is、um, more complicated of a grammar. It's、uh, basically saying he's been completely lost. Not just that he became lost, but there's, there's completely, 100%. Does not understand.、Uh, Steven, onigaishimasu. プロ式の中にはもっともっと大事なものも入っているのに。There's far more important things inside the bag. But, but, but there's far more important things inside the bag, though. はいはい。So... I've suddenly come to a realization about the fudoshiki. So, a while ago, not in this book, 
but in a different book. So I feel like it might be like not this Hamtaro, but a different Hamtaro. He was given like a rice cap cracker, I mean a rice cracker cracker. So I wonder if like the important thing is like some kind of food. He's like, oh, I want to go inside. The, so the Fudoshiki no Naka no Gohan is the rice inside of the Fudoshiki. Uh, I just thought uh, that realization just came to me. So the Fudoshiki has rice inside of it. I just thought that's important. Now he's having a flashback. Oh my goodness. Uh, there's no tease. What upset him, Tar. No wonder Momo Chan doesn't want to marry him. Uh, Celine, Mangaishimas. Chiyusu? Ah, is that Chiyusu? Ah, Kurasu. Kurasu no. Kurasu no warai, warai mono datta boku ni hitori ya sashi katta mo chan. Momo chan. Kurasu is the same as the English word class. Do you know what what I means? What I la? Hi hi. So kono mono is um is so there's there's two different uh, monos that mono can mean. It can mean this, which means thing, but it can also mean this, which means person. So what I mono is a person who everybody laughs at. So class no warai mono is the laughing stock of the class. So class no warai mono datta boku. What does this mean? Uh, I'm the one that Hi. laughing. <laughs> uh, it's it's uh, the me who was the laughing stock of class. Do you toward him, Momo chan, uh, hitori ya sashikata shi. Uh, that hitori, uh, I don't know that kanji, but it has the normal meaning of hitori, which is um, one person. One person, so hitori, so ya sashikata. You know what that means? Interesting. No, it, it, it um, Moshirokata would be an in interesting, but yasashikata. <laughs> so, Yasashi means easy, right? It can mean easy, hi. But in this case, um, it doesn't actually mean easy. So, it can mean that when it's being used like um, a modifier of something, uh, like the wit, like um, tabayasi, for example. Yeah, tabayasashi. Yeah, so it could mean that theoretically, but yesachi actually means nice. So Momo-chan was the only person who was nice, the only one, Hitori. Nobody else inside class was nice to Hamtaro except for the yesachi Momo-chan is basically uh, what this is. Everybody um, laughed at Hamtaro except for Momo-chan is basically what that's uh, saying. Uh, Steven,お願いします。ももちゃんがくれたおもいでのチーズはずっと僕の宝物だった。So oh, up here, Hamtaro doesn't have cheese. Nine, nine, cheese got nine. And Momochan goes, what up? In case that was uh, the, the cheese that Momo chan gave Hamtaro Hi. is has been Hamtaro's treasure since then. 
hi, hi, hi. So that is definitely what I first thought, right? When I when you when you read it, but this omoide makes it less gross. Uh, the the memory. Hi. Of Momo chan giving him the cheese became his precious memory because I too was like, oh look, here's a picture of him holding his cheese. He just kept it with him all this time, but uh, ha, you gotta be careful with things like that. Um, Kiba, onegaishimasu. Just this part. Donna, donna, donna ni. Onakaga, uita, uita, uita to ki demo. So donna ni is modifying toki. Yeah, yeah. Do, okay. Donna ni nakaga uita toki demo. Donna ni men. Who, who, come out mm. a the feel? Uh, I mean, who, who, who is feeling hungry? Hi, hi, hi. Toki. So, Toki. 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 At this time. Uh, I think so. Hi, hi. Uh, so toki is time. So yeah. that time of um, being hungry, donna ni is um, actually uh, like how how much? So like how much time of being harm hungry demo? So it's kind of like almost like no matter how hungry and how long I was hungry demo uh, in Kiba. Let's continue this. Sentence. So no da kewa tabe tabe zuni tote ai ai tan dayo. Hi. Oh oh tan oh tan. Oh hi Ina. Good correction. Hi hi hi. Uh, so it turns out Hantaro was being gross. <laughs> Hi. Uh, Sono cheese, what does that mean? This cheese. Hi, hi. Uh, dake? Dake wa only. Hi, hi, hi. This, this, uh, oh. only this cheese is. Hi. So, uh, only this cheese. Means, uh, yeah. So, tabe uh, means, uh, yeah, eaten so the hi. only cheese. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, you're, you're guessing right, I believe I heard. So, tabe does mean eat, and the zoo, because it wouldn't make sense for him to eat in here, means he's not eating. So, without eating, tabe zu is what this means. So, it's like tabe nai, which means okay. he didn't eat, but zu is like without eating. So, it's specifically saying that he does the action, nitotte oitanda, without eating the cheese. The cheese is not for eating. Well, okay. tabenai would be more like um, he just happened to not eat it or something like that, or he said, I'm not going to eat it. But zu means uh, not doing. So, totte uh, oitan is a uh, one word, basically. And it's uh, what he's doing in this picture, basically. Uh... He's looking at the cat. This picture? Uh, he's doing that in that picture, but I meant the picture up here with Hemtaro on a journey with a little uh, oh, that's Fuku. Oh, that's the Fuku. Oh. That's the Fuku doll, whatever thing he had. That's that's the cloth wrapping. Okay. Or, oh. Yeah. oh, so this makes sense why you're confused. So I'm just going to flip back in pictures because you, you haven't been here for this. So way over here, we see Hamtaro has his little cloth wrapping. And we weren't told anything about this cloth wrapping. He just kind of had it with him when he's going on his adventure. So he has it over here. And then he gets on the boat. And then here's him using the cloth wrapping, wrapping as a pillow. And then um, he goes around, he wakes up, and it's gone. 
So he wants to go back to where his cloth wrapping is. So I just thought, wow, that, that makes so much more sense that I've noticed that. But anyway, uh, off that ch- tangent, Totte oita means um, to like hold on to or set aside. Uh, but in this case, he's holding on to it inside of his um, cloth bag thingy. Hi. Uh, Celine, on you guys from us. No. Obari means end. Right. You know what kamoshirenai means? I heard this a lot, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a very common word. It means like, perhaps. Uh, I know. So, uh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> perhaps a uh, possibility. Yes. Hi, hi, hi. Ina. So perhaps it is the, like, it doesn't say time here, but in English you'd say, t- say time. So perhaps it's time for the end of uh, carrying around, like, this cheese with him, everywhere with him, because he lost it, basically. So awari is like awaru te koto. So the act of um, ending, nano kam- nai. So perhaps... It's the time of an end of already. Uh, Steven, on you guys, Shimas. Momo chan no omoite mo kiete cheese mo nakushite shimaonda. The uh, memories with Momo chan. Right. fades away along with the cheese that he lost. Hi, hi, Ina. Perfect. And suddenly, cat. Onya! わ、怖い。おにゃにゃにゃにゃにゃ。え、キバ、お願いします。お。よかった。よかった。よかったです。はい。uh that I understood uh, could you say oh. that again I understood hi uh so wakata means I understood so wakata means oh, that yeah. but yo kata Yo Oh, uh, has this kanji, which is the same kanji that is used with e. So it has the same meaning. It's a it's an irregular conjugation of e. So e becomes yoku, which got conjugated into yokatta. Uh, so do you know what e means? Ine. Good. Good. Hi. Hi, hi. So, yakata is like, um, that's good. So, thank God. Because we see up in the top corner, uh, the cat was chasing him and he survived. And he also, yeah. just by happen chance, happened to find his bag full of extremely old cheese. <laughs> 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 Okay. That smells yeah. so bad. <laughs> and look at the little cheese. He checks if it's in there. Uh, 
スディーンお願いします。おもちゃに。どの思い出の地図うん。うん。ももももちゃん、uh, memories? Eh, eh, eh. That is. <laughs> So、uh, it's a memory, but whose memory is it? Who, who, do, who does the memory, who is remembering this? Hamtaro. Hi, Hamtaro. So the memories with、uh, Tomo chan, no cheese. So the cheese is it's here to, hard to say in English.、So. Hi.、Uh, Steven. Onigaishiman. 僕思い出が、はい、思い出だけじゃつまらないよ。If it's only me that remember back those memories, it's boring. はいはい、いいな。Uh, キーバー、お願いします。僕は、ももちゃんは、僕のこと、僕のこと、あす好,き好きになってほしかった。はい。ももちゃんは、Uh, you might start, wait, yeah, you want to start with Boku no koto. Boku no koto, and what? Boku. Boku wins, I am. Boku no koto wins. So, koto is like about boku. Like,、um, you wouldn't、yeah. just, in this case, it's kind of like a way how Japanese people say things. They wouldn't, so、uh, it's like everything about me, basically. You, you can kind of think about it, like my existence. So, boku no koto, ski ni natte, hoshikata. So, Hamtaro, you know what hoshi means? Happy. Close. It means want. Or、uh, if it's just hoshi like this, then it means、um, star. But hoshikata is from hoshi with a longi, which means want. So Hamtaro wants Momo chan, wants Momo chan to、uh, toward Hamtaro, ski ni natte. What does that mean? Ski ni natte. He likes. Hi, hi, hi. Ski、uh, ni. I don't know. So, ninate means to become. So, Hamtaro, who's the boku in this case, so Hamtaro wants Momo chan to fall in love with him, basically. Ski ninate to start liking him.、Uh, Celine, on you guys, you Oh my goodness. Hamtaro's cheese? Hi. He's been carrying a very old piece of cheese with him this、false. whole time. False in to the sea. Hi. How does it fall into the sea? Is it、uh, an accident? Is it on purpose? Throw it. Hi. Hamtaro threw it away, throw it. throwing it. He got rid of it into the sea. The nage means to throw, and the suteta means、um, to get rid of, like you're throwing away garbage. Do you?、Uh, Steven, on you guys to us. 今度こそ本当にももちゃんのこと忘れてしまうつもりだった
now is the time for sure mm. that I will forget about uh, Momo Chan and all everything about her. Sumori? Uh, I am thinking about forgetting. Close. Or I will. Like I will making a plan to do something. So he's like, I'm gonna totally forget about her from now on. And we got that no koto, just like the boku no koto. It's just when you talk about somebody in Japanese, you get the no koto. Kind of like softens it, I guess. Uh, okay, so we're stopping right here. Because, um, Haikiba. Yeah, I have a doubt. Yeah, time to go. That, that's what this time is. So that works perfect right now. Uh, here, just can you go back to the. Oh, hi. Yeah. Uh, where Steven has just read this one. Yeah. Wait a second. Wasure te deshmas. Deshimau. Deshimau. He has uh, pronounced re as le. Uh, I want to know why. Wasure. Hi. So, wasure te. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll explain this. It, it to, hi. Eh, so shimao is, um, uh, it's not sudu. It does not have the meaning of sudu. It, um, it's a different verb that is similar to sudu in a way because it looks similar. But um, shimao is like to put an end to something. It's like owaru. Uh, so, or to bring a close to uh, something apparently, which uh, to completely finish. So he wants to totally be done with Momo-chan. So Momo-chan, goodbye. So because of that, he's forgetting it. So he's gonna completely forget about Momo-chan is uh, what that's okay. saying. Yeah, but what my question is, uh, wasu re is oh. to be pronounced like re, right? Uh, he pronounced le, wasu oh. le. So, uh, sorry, let me, never mind, I'll just use the drawing tool. So, De and le are the same in Japanese. There is no difference between R and L, and it changes depending on dialect. Uh, they, they are the same uh, phoneme in Japanese, and both pronunciation are perfectly fine allophones for it. Uh, English, uh, the difference matters a lot, you know, like read versus... Uh, lead totally different words but um in japanese wasurete and wasurete are both okay uh depending on the japanese speaker where they live both would be um pronounced uh most english speakers think it sounds more like an r uh i think uh i'm not sure about Jap which is part of the reason why um we use R in the writing system for uh, uh, Romanji. We use R because us as English speakers, we think it sounds more like R. Uh, I believe it's pronounced more similarly to L in our mouth because it's not an R, it's a like a hook. It's a tap. It's more like um, water in English. So if, when we say water, we don't say with a tur, we say water with a little flippity flip. Mm. And that T sound is the actual sound being used in the wasurete. So it's not wasurete and it's not wasulete, it's wasu, wasurete. I don't know. Uh, 
but yeah, yeah. that's it, it's uh both are okay. That yeah, okay. understood. Hi hi. But yeah, that's that's an easy thing that's not clarified in stuff 